In the last video, we briefly touched on conditionally rendering something in the template for our components. Uh, in this video, we are going to more deeply explore what our options are for replacing ng-if and ng-4 from Angular in React. With the React, we use JSX for the template, which essentially allows us to mix HTML into our JavaScript. So there isn't really a special React way to do loops or conditionals in a template. You just use JavaScript to execute the logic you need and return the template that you want. So to execute some logic in our template, we can just surround it with curly braces as we discussed in the last video. So I have a list set up here, just a dummy array with some items in it. And let's say we want to display an ion list using these items. So you might initially think to try something like this. We just take the items array and we use a for each to loop over it. So using a for each is a common way to loop through an array in JavaScript. And this approach appears to loop through each item and return an ion item for each item in the array but we can clearly see that this is wrong due to the, the red underline here. And what is happening is that a for each doesn't actually return any values. If we assigned the result of our for each loop to a variable, we would see that it is undefined. So you will most commonly see loops in JSX templates executed like this. Unlike the for each, a map will return a value. So the value that it returns is the mapped array. So what we are actually doing here is mapping our items array to an array containing the template we want for each item. So you don't really have to know specifically what is happening here aside from the fact that you can use this method to create a loop in your template. But doing this is essentially the same as doing this. We can supply an array of templates between the curly braces and React is going to render out each of those into the template for us. So all our map from before was doing was just setting up the array so it looks like this. It's mapping this array to make it look like this instead. And then those items are just being rendered out in our template. And similarly, a filter would work here as well based on the same concept. Now only items with more than three letters will be included in the array. And then that array is mapped so that each value is wrapped in an ion item. And then each element in that array will then be rendered out into the template. Now let's take a look at conditionals. So there are a few ways we can approach this. So again, I'm going to start with what might seem the most obvious, and then we will look at what is typically done. So if we want to conditionally display something in our template and we're trying to use JavaScript to accomplish that, then the first thing you might think of is an if else statement. But adding an if else statement directly to your template will not work. Again, we can see that we have some syntax errors here. So we need to use expressions in our template. And so an expression is a chunk of code that can be evaluated to a value. So just like the map that we used before, that is an expression that will be evaluated to our mapped array. And the chunk of code that we have here is not something that will evaluate to a single value. Now, technically you can do this if you use an, an immediately invoked function expression or iffy. So if we instead set up our if else like this, it will actually work. So an immediately invoked function expression, as the name suggests, is a function that is invoked as soon as it is defined. So you can see here we have a function set up that runs this code. And this extra syntax we're using here is what actually makes it an iffy and will cause it to be invoked immediately. So unlike adding our if else logic directly to the template, this is like calling a function that will just return whatever template we want. And this is an expression as the entire chunk of code is going to evaluate to a single value, which is either going to be this first paragraph tag or the second one. However, I don't typically see people using ifies like this. I certainly don't uh, do conditionals in my React templates like this. What is a more typical way of achieving this 
is to actually create a function outside of the template to perform the logic. So we might create a function up here called my conditional, which is the exact same if else statement. And this function is just going to return one of these two templates. And then all we have to do in our ion content is call that function. So again, between curly braces, we can just call my conditional and that is going to invoke this function and render out whatever template uh, results from that. So this is basically the same idea as the iffy. It's just a more common way to go about it. Now, another common way to perform conditionals in our templates is to use a ternary operator. So again, this is like an if else statement, but it's actually an expression that's going to evaluate to a single value. So what we can do is use something like this. And you may have seen this syntax before where we have our, whatever our condition is, then we have the question mark. Then we have what we want to return if that is true. And then we have a colon and what we want to return if it is false. So this is a rather neat way to return one template or another based on some uh, simple condition. However, often you just want to render something or you don't, you might not necessarily have two different templates depending on the condition. So in that case, you can use the short circuit method. And the basic idea here is that we can get rid of the, the false option there. And we can replace our question mark with two ampersands. So just some condition and, and, and then the template that we want to return from that. And now another important thing to mention here is that when you're doing something like this, you can only return a single node. So if I wanted to return two paragraph tags, for example, that isn't going to work. So there are a couple of different approaches you can take to this. Uh, we could surround this with say a div. And so now that is just a single node that has two more nodes in it and that's fine. Uh, we might not want to add an additional element like this. So we could also just use a fragment. So this sort of allows us to return just a single node, but it is only these paragraph tags that are actually going to be rendered out to the DOM. You can also return an array of values, which is similar to what we were doing with the map from before. So we could just add our two templates like that. So our two nodes are going to be returned from this uh, condition now. But personally, most of the time I just use uh, either, well, I just return one node to begin with, or if I do need to wrap it, I do need to return multiple nodes, I'll just wrap it in the fragment and just return that instead. So this is React. And as I keep mentioning, there isn't really a prescribed way to do everything. There are generally best practices and approaches that get adopted by the community, which is what I'm trying to highlight in these videos. But there are many ways to go about achieving the same thing. Okay, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe. If you have any suggestions for future videos in this series, leave your suggestion in the comments and I will see you in the next video.